It was in Van Damme. That was back then. Well, if everything was for back then, right. what is for now? Right. That's right. That's everything in here was back then. That's right. That's right. But it's not changing for now. That's all right. See? So the flesh started picking and prodding and looking for a way out. But every human must come to the conclusion. The Bible is right, and I got to deal with myself. Let me drop a bomb on y'all. Everybody looking at me in this congregation and viewing me over 300,000 people. You know what your problem is? You don't want to deal with yourself. Mm -hmm. It's That's not your brother and sister. Right. It's not the church. You know, the church. Mm -hmm. It's not the demons. It's you. Yep. You refuse to deal with yourself in the light of the Bible. The Bible show us up for what we really are. Mm -hmm. Creatures that's going to hell without God. That's what we are. That's what we deserve. But the Bible is a mirror. I felt that. It allows you to look into it. Not for your brother's sake. For your sake. I'm preaching to myself right now. Amen. If a person would be honest and agree with the Bible, they'll look into that Bible and find themselves. That's what it did at Pentecost. You better get me that. Watch this. Let me give you some more revelation. We just read the scripture this morning. Let me give you some more revelation. Watch this. Acts chapter 2, verse 37. Watch this. Acts chapter 2, verse 37. Read. And when they heard this, these people was preached to. Peter preached Jesus to them. The word Peter preached was so powerful, it did upset him. Let me tell you something. When the Bible upsets your flesh, that's a good sign. Mm -hmm. Let's right. know, God, I found you. Uh -huh. Don't let me find you there again. Amen. That word Peter preached upset the people. They didn't like it. But they didn't fight. Rather, they were so convicted, so condemned. They were so cut to the heart that they said, men and brother, what shall we do? All the fight is out. No more fight. They threw in the town. <laughs> I remember one of Joe Frazier's fight. He got beat so bad that his manager stood in front of him, took the towel, and threw it in the ring. Said, no more. No more. If you don't say to Jesus, no more, here I am. You'll never get saved. Long as you hold it on to that little self right I'm not all that bad. That's it. Everybody in church ain't right. Uh, I know it, but look at you pushing it off. Mm -hmm. Then you start looking around to see somebody not towing the line. Yep. Then they show it's you. How that gonna flow with God? Yep, right. Instead of saying, Lord, it's me. That's right. It's me. Mm -hmm. I need to be saved. Fix me. Right. Take this mess out of me. Hey. Yeah. Clean me. Right. Wash me. Sanctify me. I'm not worried about you. Mm -hmm. I'm running this race for my sake. Amen. Paul said, he that run a race, run all. Come on. Don't the one winner. Mm -hmm. 100 meter, ain't the one winner. Mm -hmm. 200 meter, one winner. Sprint, hurdles, it's just one winner. The church is the only one that's going to win. Mm -hmm. It's one church. That's right. <laughs> it ain't one church. That's right. That's Jesus' church. Uh, yeah. That's the only one win. All these other buildings called church, they're not even in the race. Sure. Jesus didn't establish them. 
He got nothing to do with it. Jesus is what he is. The body of Christ. Amen. The Bible says, uh oh, Acts chapter 2. I feel it. He added to the church. Damn! I'm in the book. Y'all yes, been watching this broadcast all these years. You know I teach my. I don't have no game for it. Huh? I'm no false prophet, but I work on false prophet. I can't stand, stand a lying false prophet. And why they lead folks to hell. That's right. Huh? Thank you. Someone said, what? Yeah, false prophet, the Bible full of them. The Bible call them howlings, wolves and sheep clothing. Huh? That's what the Bible call them. The only said, don't get it for the read. He added to the church daily, such as you can see. Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2 and verse 47. Read. Praise the God and have faith. Let's go back two more verses. Watch this. Read. Verse 42. And they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine. The church was birthed at Pentecost. Your church don't go to Pentecost. It ain't church. That's right. Your church don't baptize in Jesus' name. Feel with the Holy Ghost, speaking in tongues, living holy, it ain't true. Right, right. And what the Bible says. Uh -huh. The Holy Ghost fell. They preached. They baptized 3,000 people in Jesus' name. Because 3,000 were added to the church. You read it. They were to their children. And they continued. And they joined the church. And 3,000 were added. Get with me. Verse 41. Then they were glad to receive his word. What? Baptized. And the same day they were added unto They church. were added. About 3,000 souls. 3,000 souls were added. And they huh? They didn't join. I can fellowship you in. The congregation. But it takes Jesus to add you to the church. The Bible said they were added about 3,000 souls. Read. Verse 42. And they continue steadfastly. How? In the apostles' doctrine. If you're not in the apostles' doctrine, you ain't in church. That's right. You can't black this out with a permanent marker. You can't throw it away. They continued in the apostles' teaching. What did the apostles teach? They taught what Jesus told them to teach. Mm -hmm. No more, no less. That's right. Read. And they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, in fellowship, and in breaking of bread, and in prayer. The fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. Look at the church in operation. These men, these 3,000 that was added, they were added to the church because they agreed with it. Huh? Go back to verse 37 and they said, Men and brothers, what shall we do? Listen, they threw up their hands and realized the Bible is so right. God's word is so right. Huh? God's word was so right that they said, Men and brothers, listen, what shall we do? This is it. Read it. Verse 37. Now when they heard this, what? they were pricking their heart. The word cut their heart. Listen. The word must find you. You're not going to do anything about it until it finds you. The word got to find you. That's why so many people don't be quick to join themselves to us. Because I don't play with the word and most folks I can't take it. I ain't going back up in there. But I respect that. That means you ain't going to play with God. But if you hang around here, you must conform to the word. We conform to the word. People don't conform to me. That's right. I ain't your God. That's I right. I serve the God of pushing. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. We serve the same God. Mm -hmm. But uh, unless you're willing to conform to the word, you won't make it. That's right. Read what they say. And say unto Peter, Peter and to the rest of the apostles. What? Man and brother. What shall we do? That mean agreement. They were doing their own thing. They were walking in their own way. But when they heard the word, they said, what shall we do? 